I'm going to show you exactly how to make a UPIN account if you're from anywhere in the world. But for those of you who are unfamiliar, let me first tell you why you should care. As you're probably aware, earlier this year, the largest Counter-Strike skins marketplace, Buff163, made it impossible for non-Chinese users to use their website to trade skins. You might be asking yourself, but why does this matter if there are a bunch of other marketplaces I can still use? Well, the unfortunate reality is the majority of the Counter-Strike skins economy is in China, and since this was the most widely used marketplace, this website also had the largest variety of skins. That included things like extremely rare skins, floats, patterns, and sticker crafts that are typically absent from other marketplaces. Not only this, but since there was such a high population of listings, the prices were also better than anywhere else. Now that buff is gone, people thought the days of being able to readily access the Chinese skin market were gone forever. But I'm here to tell you that that isn't the case. Since the ban, the second most popular Chinese marketplace, Upin898, has seen a massive surge in popularity. Traders all over Twitter have been posting about it left and right, and it seems like for the time being, it's our best option for a direct line to the Chinese markets. The only barrier to entry and possible downside is the extremely convoluted registration process, which may be what's holding you back. But once you've registered, you'll have access to rare skins at prices that are oftentimes even cheaper than buff. So today, I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step guide to getting a fully functional Upin898 account for yourself. Also, I just quickly want to shout out EXP or at Noxdealer on Twitter who helped me through this process when I was doing it for the first time myself. He has a great guide for this on a Twitter thread that's typed out and uses screenshots, but I know a lot of people including myself learn way better with videos, so I wanted to make this. Oh yeah, and I'll be doing this entire process on an Apple iPhone and a Windows PC, so things may vary slightly if you have other devices. Before I get into it, today's sponsor GamerPay wants to sponsor you with a free 5 euros on your first 50 euro deposit. GamerPay is an extremely trustworthy peer-to-peer -peer skin trading website where you can find some of the cheapest CS2 skins on the market. Take a look at this MAC-10 fade for example. Currently the cheapest one is on GamerPay. GamerPay has no buying fee and only a small 3% selling fee and you can even sell your skins on a trade lock. What are you waiting for? Click the link in the description to claim your free 5 euros today. Alright, so the first step in this process is going to be downloading the UPIN app on your mobile device. And yes, there is a website for UPIN that you can use on your browser, but I'm a lot less experienced with that, so let's just use the app for now. The easiest way to find the app on the App Store is by searching UUUPIN, as you can see here. If you see the black application with the gray logo and the Chinese lettering, that's the one. If not, there's a high likelihood that UPIN isn't available in your region, but there is a way around this. The easiest way is to just change your App Store region in your phone settings. I'm not going to show you exactly how to do that because it is a bit sus to show on YouTube, but you can easily find other videos about it. I have tried it before though, and I do know it works. Once the app's downloaded, just open it. Feel free to allow the push notifications. And once you're in the app, the first screen you're going to see is this one with all Chinese lettering. This is just a page about their policy, but just hit the blue button to move on. As you can see here, and in my opinion, the one downside of Upin is that the entire website and application are completely in Chinese. And that's honestly a big part of the reason why I'm doing this walkthrough because it's not self-explanatory at all. For now, just click on the tab in the bottom right corner and this will pop up. From here, hit the plus 86 area code and scroll down and see if you can find your region. I do know that the US and Canadian numbers are completely blocked, but I'm not sure what other regions are, so for now just check to see if yours is. And if it is, don't worry because I have a way around that. But whether you see your region code here or not, you're going to have to do this next step as well. Even if you already found out that your region is banned on UPIN, you should still watch this step because you're going to have to download this app at some point point anyway. Next up, we're going to want to download the Alipay app. You can simply find that by searching Alipay on the App Store as you see here. Again though, if it doesn't pop up, it's probably banned in your region, so you might have to change your region again. If you see the blue and white logo that says Alipay Simplify Your Life, that's the one and you can download it. And once it's downloaded, just open it. Just like before, there's going to be a privacy policy page that pops up and you can simply hit agree, allow the notifications again, and then from here, just like before, hit the plus 86 and try to find your region. Again, Again, reminder, this isn't just the region that you live in, you're looking for the region code of your phone number. If you can't tell what we're trying to do yet, we're essentially trying to figure out if your phone number is available on both of these applications that we need in order for you to make a UPIN account. If the phone number that you use is available on both, you're one of the lucky ones and you can skip to the Alipay account chapter of this video. But for a lot of you, at least one of these applications probably doesn't allow your region. Also, I just want to say quickly, I'm sure some of you watching this video already have an Alipay account, but you 
don't have a UPIN account? If that's the case and the phone number that you used on your Alipay account isn't allowed to be used on UPIN, I'm sure it'll be okay, but for the rest of us, I'm gonna try to make it so that we have no discrepancies between the two apps and we use the same exact phone number for both. The reason for this is the verification process on UPIN is kind of tough, so what you're hoping for is the least discrepancies possible so that UPIN just quickly and easily accepts your verification. Oh, and if you are one of the ones that already has a verified Alipay account, just skip to the UPIN account chapter of this video and go from there. But if not, this is what you're gonna have to do. Alright, so if the phone that you use is banned from at least one of those apps, the next step is to get a phone number that you know will be usable on both. The easiest and cheapest way to do that is by using a website that I found called Hush. Most websites which allow you to purchase foreign phone numbers have these annoying monthly payments that recur forever. But a while back I found a Hushed promo that allows you to pay $25 for an unlimited use phone number. I'll leave a link to the promo in the description, but you can also just search Hushed Unlimited number on Google. As you can see right here, the top link is what you want to click. And yes, I know it is a little annoying that you're going to have to pay $25, but you're not going to find an unlimited phone number anywhere else on the internet for this good of a price. And you're going to save this much money buying skins on UPIN very quickly. So it's going to be well worth it. And what you're going to want to do is click get offer now. And from here, you're going to want to select UK because obviously the Canadian and US phone numbers won't work on UPIN. So let's click UK, click get your number. And from here, you're just going to want to go through the process of paying, put in your email, your card information, your name, etc. And you know what? Even though I already paid $25 for my own hushed number so I could create a UPIN account of my own, I'm actually going to buy another one right here just for you guys so I can show you exactly how to do that process again on the Alipay and UPIN app. All right, and once you enter that information and click pay, this is what will pop up. But what you're going to want to do is go back to your phone and download the Hushed application. In the App Store, you're just going to want to search Hushed, as you see here, and download the one with the red background and the orange H. Once it's downloaded, just open the app and click login. Seconds after you paid for the Hushed number online, you got an email on the email you signed up with that looks like this, with your username and password in it. If you want, you can log in with that username and password it gives you, but what I did is I just clicked for got password immediately and went through the process of resetting my password via email to something I'll remember. Whichever you choose to do, just enter those and log in. Click got it, click allow, click got it again and allow again. Those were just for notifications and use of your microphone. And then click add number. From here, you're gonna wanna select UK and then mobile, and then pick any of the numbers you want. This will be your permanent UK phone number. Once you click it, you're gonna see at the very top, offers claimed, which you already paid for, that says lifetime hushed number for free. Click that, and then click buy for free now. That's it, now you have an unlimited use UK phone number. And now we can start the sign up process. In order to get verified on the UPIN app, you have to already have a verified Alipay account. Don't ask me why, those are just the rules. So before we sign up for UPIN, we're going to want to start by signing up for Alipay and getting verified on there. So back in the Alipay app that we already downloaded, you're going to want to hit the 86 and then find the region of the phone number you're using. For those of you that followed the hushed steps, you're going to want to choose UK. Now that you've selected the region code, enter the rest of the phone number and hit next. After you hit next, there's going to be a weird screen that pops up that gives you instructions that might be a little confusing. It is in Chinese, but usually the picture is pretty self-explanatory. The one right here is clearly instructing you to hold your finger on the center of your screen, but I've also seen one that tells you to put your phone face down on the table. You should be able to figure it out pretty intuitively based on the picture, but if you can't, just close the app and re-enter your number until you get instructions that you understand. After you do that, a privacy agreement will pop up. You can just hit agree. Now Alipay will send a code directly to your number. If you're using Hushed, go over to the Hushed app and it should be right there. Now just enter the code. After that, a screen should pop up that asks for your country or region. This time around, you're gonna wanna select the region that you actually live in, or at least one that you have a passport from. So for me, I selected the United States because I have a US passport. This is very important. Don't just select the region of the phone number you're using. For example, if you're not from the UK and you're using the UK Hushed number, do not select UK here. Now just click the region that you live in or have a passport from and you should be in. 
From here, you're going to want to click the account tab in the bottom right corner, then click the settings cog in the top right corner, then click on security settings at the top of the screen, and then click identity information where it says verify now. Now that you're here, you're going to have to upload pictures of your passport. I know this might be a pain for a lot of you if you don't have a passport, but unfortunately this is the only way you can get a UPIN account. Now once you fill everything in and upload the pictures of your passport, your account should be verified within 24 hours. Make sure that all of the information that you're providing is accurate it and give it real information based on where you live. For example, if it asks for your address, you need to give it your actual address. If you don't receive your Alipay verification within 72 hours, which I have heard of happening, there's one other thing you can try. From the account tab, click on balance, and on the balance page next to complete your info, click go. That will bring you to this page where you're going to want to click upload passport and verify face and complete all of the steps. Then give it another couple days and you should be good to go. Once you're completely verified on Alipay, there's just one more thing we have to do on there before starting the UPIN process. In order to get verified on UPIN, you have to provide a bunch of screenshots from the Alipay app. So in order to save us time later, let's just get those now. For the first one, on the account tab, click your name at the top of the screen, then click profile homepage. Once it loads, just screenshot that. Now back on the account tab, click on the settings cog, then click account and security, then click identity information, then click on basic identity information. Now screenshot that page. Now for the last screenshot, before leaving that page, click on the blue text at the bottom of the screen that says change of name or ID number, then click on the blue eyelashes at the top right corner of the screen. Now screenshot that. At some point during your Alipay journey, it should have made you create a six digit password and it will ask you to enter that password when you click the eyelash. So just make sure you remember it. Now we can finally create the UPIN account. Alright boys, as I said before, everything on this website is completely in Chinese, so it might be pretty difficult to understand at times. That being said, I'm not going to directly translate everything that I show to English, but you can easily do that yourself on the app if you simply screenshot whatever you want to know, bring it over to the Google app on your phone, search translate, and then click the camera icon. Then you can select any picture from your camera roll and it will translate it to whatever language you want. This helped me out a ton when I was creating my account, so feel free to do that whenever you need the extra help. Anyway, in the app, click the tab in the bottom right corner, then click on the 86. Now search for your phone's region, and then input your number. Now tick off the circle at the bottom left corner of the screen, and then click the blue lettering at the middle of the screen. This will bring up a CAPTCHA that you can easily complete. As soon as you complete it, it will send a code to your phone number. Now enter the code, click the blue button, and then click the next blue button. When you're in the app, this will pop up. This is just asking you if you want to go to the preferences page, but for now just click cancel which is the button on the left. From here, click the tab in the bottom right corner again, then click the settings cog at the top right corner. Now, you see the one that says Steam? That's what you're going to want to click on. It's the sixth one from the top. Now you're going to want to click the blue button at the top right corner, and then click the blue button that pops up. Now it's going to have you sign into your Steam account, which you should do. Click the blue button again, and then click the blue button again. This is going to automatically link your API key and your Steam trade URL directly to your UPIN account. Once they're successfully bound, you're going to want to click the back button at the top left corner of the screen. Now that that's done, we just have to verify our identity in order to get full use of the UPIN marketplace. Now you're going to want to select the third button from the top, just below that string of letters and numbers. Now on this page, you're going to want to select the third one from the top again, right where you see those darker gray Chinese characters. Now if you're from China, you're going to want to enter your name and your ID at the top part of the screen, but if not, and I'm assuming most of you won't be, you're going to want to click the blue text at the very bottom of the screen. In English, this says non-mainland Chinese users. Now on this screen, if you're from Hong Kong, Macau, or Taiwan, you're going to want to click the top button, but again, I'm assuming most of you won't be, so you're going to want to click the bottom tab, which says real name authentication for overseas users. Now this page is where you're going to have to start entering your information. First click on the top tab, which is asking for your country or region, then make sure you select the region that you live in or have a passport from. Again, just like Alipay, you're going to have to provide pictures of your passport, so be honest on these questions. All right. As you've probably noticed by now, there clearly isn't an option for United States, so you might be thinking to yourself, what am I going to do? You're already signed up on Alipay and verified with a US ID, but now you can't do it on UPIN. This guy literally is throwing me for a loop. 
Surprisingly, there's actually a way around this, and it's actually just as simple as selecting the Virgin Islands. The Virgin Islands are a US territory, so I guess the Yupin verification reps don't actually care or maybe just don't know the difference between the two. They see that you're from the US, and they see the Virgin Islands are in the US, so they just verify you. I'm not sure if this will last forever, but it worked for me and it's worked for a bunch of other people. Now the box below that is asking for your name, but the thing is, you have to enter it in a very specific way. Firstly, it has to be in all caps apps, and it has to be last name, first name, middle initial. So as an example, let's say my name is John Billy Doe, I would have to enter in all caps, Doe John B. The truth is, I'm not actually certain that you have to enter your middle initial here, but the thing is, I did because I had my middle initial on Alipay. I tried this process multiple times and I kept getting rejected, but I wasn't sure why, and the reason was I didn't put my middle initial at the end after my last and first name that showed on Alipay. So if you don't have your middle initial on Alipay, just try to make it one to one with Alipay, but still use the format of all caps, last name, followed by first name. Now in the next box, you're going to have to enter your passport ID number. The exact same one that you used for Alipay. Alright, do you remember those three screenshots I annoyingly made you guys take earlier? Well now you can thank me because you're going to need them right now. In that next slot where it shows one place to enter an image, click on it, then select your photo library and choose the first of those three screenshots. Now a new slot will pop up right next to it, click on that and add the second one and then add the third one. Once you do that, your ID pictures are all that's left. First click on the far left option and choose the camera and take a picture of the front of your passport which is the card that shows your face. Then in the middle slot, take a picture of the back of your passport, and in the third slot, you're gonna have to take a picture of you holding up your passport so they can see your face and your passport in hand. It's pretty easy to do, it took me like two minutes. Now click the big blue button at the bottom of the screen once you've entered all of that information correctly, and you're done. Now you're just gonna have to wait 24 to 48 hours for the verification. To check on it, just navigate back to that same page where you had to enter the information, but now there will just be a page that says you've already submitted it. Do not worry if you get denied on your first few attempts for verification. This took me four tries to get verified. Here's an example screenshot of what it looked like when I got denied. In English, this says audit failure, upload Alipay real name change name slash ID screenshot showing full name, ID number, and category, which means one or more of my Alipay screenshots were incorrect. I failed two of the attempts because of that, and the third failure was because I didn't have my middle initial. So just keep trying and use Google Translate to find out what you messed up on. Once you're verified, there's just one more step to have complete reign over the UPIN marketplace. For some reason, whenever a new account is created, the buying function is limited due to risk assessment and protection. So the last step in this entire process after you're officially verified will be to remove that limitation. Head back to the main page and then click on the second tab from the left. This is your inventory tab. Now select an item that you're okay selling and list it at just under market value. This is just so it sells quickly. The goal here is to just get you some balance as quickly as possible. Make sure you have notifications for the app set up so you know when it sells and you successfully deliver the item. Not only will this be helpful for now, now, but you'll want that in the future too if you're ever going to sell items. Because just like Buff, if you miss a delivery, there is a suspension. Once the sale goes through, your balance will be reflected on the far right tab of the UPIN app. Once it's there, now you want to navigate over to the far left tab, which will be where you can purchase items. Now select something that you can afford with the balance that you now have. Click the blue buy button on one of them, check off the circle at the bottom middle of the screen, and click purchase. Unfortunately, that purchase won't actually go through and you're going to get a pop-up which talks about the limitation on your buy function. In order to solve this, navigate back over to the far right tab and then click the headphones icon in the bottom middle of the screen. From here, click the message icon in the bottom left corner. Now simply type service in English. After the first pop-up, now you're going to want to type manual customer service or human customer service in Chinese. Going forward, a lot of this conversation is going to be in Chinese, so you're going to need to have Google Translate up on your phone as well as this app so you can easily switch back and forth, typing in the English and pulling it out by copying it and then pasting it in UPIN. But after you type manual customer service, click on the blue button that pops up. You're now in line waiting for a customer service representative. Once they arrive, 
you're gonna wanna ask them, why is the transaction function limited in Chinese? I'll leave some common Chinese phrases in the description so you can just easily copy paste it if you'd like. But like I said, you're gonna wanna use Google Translate for most of this conversation. Now, everything in this conversation going forward is gonna be completely on you. I'm gonna throw up pictures of my conversation translated into English right now so you can understand exactly how mine went down. Pretty much all they ask you to do is send over a picture of the front and back of your ID, and then a couple days later, you'll be completely good to go. The translation for me was a little bit rough, so I was kind of being dumb in the conversation and just repeatedly asking if I was good, and they were saying, yes, you're fine, but I wasn't fully understanding and I was worried I was missing a step. But after a while, I figured it out and so will you. That is literally everything. Now, within about 24 hours, you'll be completely good to go to use Upin as you wish. Let me know if you guys want me to drop a video doing an entire rundown of how to use the Upin app. In the meantime, my biggest piece of advice is just to use Google Translate as much as possible. It'll help you through everything. And after a while of using the app, you'll figure out where things are without even needing to translate it anymore. But yeah, if this video helped you at all, please just drop a like. I literally spent $25 on a hushed number that I'll never use just to show you guys how to do this. Anything for you guys. But yeah, the last thing I'll say before I go, make sure you join our Discord server because I'm always doing giveaways in there. Also, channel members and Twitch subs of mine get extra entries to those giveaways. All the instructions and information to that stuff is in the server, so come check it out. We have over 3,000 members now, so we're always just in there vibing. But yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet, so go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.